Serena? Who wants to know? Name's Shepard. Liara Tassoni said you might have information on Thane Krios. Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Maybe you could help me find him? <laughs> I can tell you, but you won't stop him. When he contacted me, I checked up on him. The man never gives up on a job. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killer. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. Why does that name sound familiar? She was a representative on the Citadel a few years ago. Right. She had me kill her sister, the slaver. I thought that was just a rumor. Well, you know what she's capable of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check, and her enemies dead. So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers. Penthouse level of Tower 1. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. It doesn't sound like Nasana's just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. Do you know anything else about Thane? Not much. He did say that he's not doing the hit for money. Nobody hired him. I wanted to know who I was helping, and he said he's doing this job on his own. That he had to restore the balance of his life. I don't know. Maybe he's crazy. If he takes down Nasana, I don't care why he does it. You're just offering your help? No strings attached? You're going to look for Thane. Nasana's mercenaries will try to stop you. At the least, you'll distract her guards. Take a little fire, give Thane a clear shot. I didn't hire him to kill Nasana, but I won't shed any tears when she gets what's coming to her. Let's go then. Good. I'm tired of this crap. We'll go tonight, as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. The towers are heavily guarded, and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So, this assassin, you planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. There they are, the Dantius Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. We might find him before it goes that far. Maybe. At least you'll know where he's headed. Any last-minute tips about the towers? The Eclipse Mercs will be well fortified by now, and they won't want to disappoint Nasana. There's no automated defenses or traps, just focus on anything moving. All right. Let's do this. Hold on. Don't linger too long. They'll be here to greet you soon enough. Good luck, Shepard. Who did this to you, and why? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. 
They just attacked you? Yes. They were too slow. It was horrible. Everyone screaming. The merc said there was no time. The Santa wanted us out of the way immediately. Then... <coughs> the dogs... <coughs> Here. That should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. Thank you. That helps. Take your time. I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. I need to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? Take the service elevator to the upper floors. The bridge between the towers isn't finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the mercs. They're everywhere. Any idea how many mercs Nassan has got? A lot. Dozens of them are wandering around here all day. You'll find more the further up you go. Why would Nasana kill her own workers? To her, we're expendable. But I didn't realize she was that ruthless. My friends, co-workers, slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Let's get moving. We'll go! We'll go! Hey, look! They're not Eclipse. You're here to help us, right? It's one reason I'm here. Come on out. It's safe enough. Thank you. We are in your debt. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone, not a merc. He's on his own. Well, whoever sealed us in here... When he found us, I thought we were dead. But he just closed the door and locked us in. Could be him, but that doesn't sound much like an assassin. Assassin? Here for Nasana, I bet. She's got it coming. You treat people like this, it always comes back to bite you in the ass. I need to get to Nasana's penthouse. What's the quickest way? Cargo elevator is the only way up right now. They're still working up top. Watch your step. Some of the walls aren't in, and it's a long way down. Cold, too. I hate working up there. Did you see the one who locked you in? Do you know where he might have gone? He's no Solarian, I can tell you that. But I've no idea where he went. Sorry. If he's after Nasana, he'll be heading to the upper levels. Nasana's not exactly your favorite person? She's a hard woman to work for. That's an understatement. She works us long hours, no overtime, and this is what you get in payment. She's unpleasant, to say the least. Why not just quit? We would if we could. What's stopping you? Our contract. We're stuck until the job's done. Quitting for any reason can be hazardous to your health. We hear that anyone who leaves early tends to disappear, Probably just a rumor. But who wants to find out for sure? How many workers were in the tower? Are there many more of you? Not alive. We were lucky. Well, some got out before the dogs were sent in. Maybe a few are hiding somewhere. I wouldn't stay here too long. It should be safe down on the lower floors. I was just thinking the same thing. Let's go, everybody! Thank you. And tell your assassin to aim for her head. Because she doesn't have a heart. Get moving! Quickly. slowly. Damn it. Have you seen the assassin? Why are you looking for him? You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? Answer my questions and I'll let you go. Look, pal. Even if I knew where he was, I wouldn't tell you. Not the answer I was looking for. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you 
shoot me, my team's right through there. How about goodbye? It's about time! What's going on down there? I'm afraid your men aren't able to respond, Asana. Shepard, but you're dead. I got better. And now you're here to kill me. You really are paranoid, aren't you? Don't patronize me, Shepard. Charming as ever. I'm sure you find this all very ironic. First you take care of my sister, and now you're here for me. Well, you made it this far. Now what? You really think I'm here to kill you? Do you have another reason for destroying my tower? Decimating my security? I'm just looking for someone. You expect me to believe that? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. All the credits in the world won't make this problem go away, Nasana. Who the hell gave you the right to play God? I may not be perfect, but look at you. We both kill people for money. What's the difference? You kill people because you think they're beneath you. They're in your way. I kill people when they leave me no choice. You've got a choice. You don't have to do this. I can tell you... What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... Who... Not bad. I came a long way to talk to you. One moment. Prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. She certainly was wicked. Not for her. For me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. How did you know I was coming at all? I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. Nasana had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable distraction. Let's cut to the chase. I need you for a mission. Indeed. You're familiar with the Collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's Progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. They told me it was impossible to get to Ilos, too. A fair point. You built a career on performing the impossible. This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. You're dying. Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. I hadn't heard that. Is there anything I can do? Giving me this opportunity is enough. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. 
I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Obviously he is too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah, and he may not. By Thane's spiritual side, his psych profile mentioned little of it, and he carries himself with such cold confidence. I'm not sure if I find him scary or sexy. A lot of women like bad boys. Oh, I don't know. Good guys are pretty nice, too. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Samara would like to see you in observation on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? I'll let you work. I am glad you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. It's all right. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds. But that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardot Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morinth suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardot Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morith. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. 
If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. They have to choose between prison and death? It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morant does not want to be cured, she won't be. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster, she is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free, but selfish. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I own nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long-lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth. Do you need something? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. The Drell live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Hanar difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. Hanar talk using bioluminescence. That's more of an obstacle than their politeness. True. Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. I had the treatment. I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black, but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with Emonkira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, goddess of motherhood and protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, goddess of oceans and the afterlife. Oceans and afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Consider, the ocean is full of life, yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land, accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the Collectors. Do you have any leads I could chase down? I've already upgraded the Normandy's exploration probes. I have no additional suggestions. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. 
Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Keprel's Syndrome. Are you going to be alright until the end of the mission? I should be fine for another 8 to 12 months. The more time I spend in humid environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. Can't they do something about that? The Hanar have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. Then don't live on Kaji, or use breathers. Drell have a close relationship with the Hanar. We rely on each other. The best we can do is keep our homes very dry inside. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar illuminated primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. That's right. Anybody messing with me will answer to my good friend, Commander Shepard. Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard? Is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel. I wanted to become a Spectre. You're alive. Oh, this is the happiest day of my life. Conrad, why are you acting like me? Well, you were gone, right? And the galaxy still needed protecting. So I decided to finish what you started, in your honor. <sighs> Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. How did you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off-world. Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. So then he says, Oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different. Give Fax a full refund, do you hear me? He knows. I don't know how. It doesn't matter. Credit him a full refund now. And then get your ass someplace safe. Leave me alone. I can't talk to anybody. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? I recognize that armor. You're with that other guy, Werner. Commander Shepard's friend. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to, uh, stop the red sand dealers. I softened up the bar owner, but you need to go in and finish them off. Really? Are you sure? Absolutely. You just need to close the deal. Go in, be tough, and let them know you're with me. They'll hand the deed right over. Wow, great. Here, I'll set you up for a discount. Thanks for the help. I don't know, that still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All the dangers are right there on the package. It's has announced legally plans to sue the Citadel Council. The Batarians claim that slavery is an inextricable part of their caste system.
limiting the slave trade, the council is violating their cultural rights. The indentured servitude market closed down three points, with representatives decrying the unwanted controversy. Another difficult development for human expansion as the colony on Horizon has been attacked. The council has suggested that the attacks are a tragic coincidence, likely the result of vicarious slave traders or isolated pirates. <sighs> I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. Of course. Damn it, this is just a misunderstanding! Tell it to the judge. My surveillance vids caught your extortion attempt from four different angles. I was misled! I was told that you had agreed to sell! Take her away, before I have my bartender throw her out. What happened? The undercover cop from the weapons kiosk just got arrested. She wasn't a cop. She was a deep cover operative from a terrorist cell. I'd never have found her if not for you. Really? Really. You did a great job, Conrad. Now please go home. Let me take it from here. Can do, Shepard. And thanks. It's really good to have you back. Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. Anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athita, Asari Matriarch and bartender. Get you anything? You're an Asari Matriarch? I thought Matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Your mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She'd put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. If your mother fought in the Rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn Genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars. Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan think they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. When I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen into muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. Their ships were hanging bare-assed in space when Saren started shooting. If not for you humans, we would have bought it right there. And I warned him. Told people on Thessia what was coming and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. What's it like, living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pure-blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. 
Get you anything else? I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. Does nasty things to your insides. Once saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. What's it like being an Asari matriarch? Pretty much like being anything else. My parents had it more interesting than I did. Thanks for telling me about that. Right. Don't eat the nuts. Who respects you? Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Oriana's family to the terminal instead. You didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other Ilium contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and Niket are the only two I trust on this. What information do you have about the mercenaries? I've confirmed that they're Eclipse, and that they're working for an organization Ms. Lawson warned us about. I could try to alert the authorities, but so far they've done nothing illegal. You made the right decision. We'll handle this ourselves. It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? Lentea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I doubt Eclipse will send all their people just to stop you. Do you want to give Niket any backup? Niket can take care of himself. Besides, any armed backup just draws attention to him. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse. But they never planned on you. Damn it! Eclipse mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. Put us down in that cover behind them. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. Hold fire! I said hold fire, damn it! I got this. Since you're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. What do you mean, Niket won't be helping us? Nothing you need to worry about. Nobody's gonna get killed unless you do something stupid. You walk away now, the girl goes back to her father, and everybody's happy. Everybody but my sister. And me. Should we be talking to Captain Inyala about this? You don't want to talk to the captain. She's not as... polite as I am. She's the best commando I've ever seen. I've seen her tear people in half with her biotics. And she's getting paid a lot to stop you. She gets in my way, she'll never have a chance to spend it. Wait, Miranda, you said she was your twin sister. That what she told you? No, this crazy bitch kidnapped our boss's baby daughter. He's been looking for her for more than a decade. It's complicated, Shepard. We share the same DNA, just not the same birthday. You took a baby from the richest guy in the galaxy, lady. I don't know what your damage is, but you're not getting away with it. You're not getting Miranda's sister. If you push this, it'll go badly for you. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. 
This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want things to get up. Son of a bitch! Perfect! <clears throat> go, go, go! Team 4, do you read? Team 4! Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. Why didn't you tell me that we were saving a kid? She's not a child. She'll be 19 this year. But... Well, it didn't seem relevant at the time, I suppose. There are people who'd use her against me. I'm very protective when it comes to Oriana. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. You deserved to know. I can understand choosing to go your own way, but you stole a young child from her father. If you knew my father, you would understand. I wasn't the first one he made. I was only the first one he kept. I was brought up with no friends, pushed to meet impossible demands. I wasn't a daughter to him. I was... I don't know what I was. Ariana has had a normal life. I made the right decision. If Eclipse knows where Ariana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. Worried by what the Merc said. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Ariana. Can you tell me anything about the cargo processing yard? We'll be moving through conveyor systems. There'll be a lot of movement. Finding targets won't be easy. We'll need to stay sharp. And these cargo transports carry hazardous materials. So watch what you shoot at. I hope your friend can be trusted. Absolutely. Niket is one of my oldest friends. I guess you could say he was my only real friend. He's the only person I didn't cut ties with when I left my father. Is there a chance your father could be using Niket to get to you? I'm sure he's tried, but Niket's one of the few people who understands what my father is really like. I trusted him with my life when I ran from my father, Shepard. He won't betray me now. Let's go find Niket and Orion. Right. They're on the far side of the conveyor line. Time your shots. <laughs> Get them off the <laughs> <head. clears throat> We're listening in, and she's feeding misinformation about Niket making a switch. Or maybe it means something else. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it, why won't this thing go any faster? Did Niket know that you took Oriana from your father? No, he just found out about that recently. It was too personal to involve someone else. I never really thought about it, but maybe... No, he'd have to understand why I did it. He knows what I went through. What makes you so sure that Niket wouldn't turn on you? He could have turned on me when I ran away. I'm sure my father tried to buy him off. If he didn't do it then, why would he do it now? You know it, Miranda. If you don't think he'd betray you, then I'm sure there's another explanation. I don't know, damn it. But I guess we'll find out soon enough. And then I'll have a word with this Captain and Yala. Listen to me, I've got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No, I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Miri. This should be fun. Niket, you sold me out. 
How do you want to handle this, Miranda? Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. How did Miranda's father turn you? They told me you'd kidnapped your baby sister all those years ago. They said I could help get her back peacefully. No trauma to the family. I told them you'd never do that. They could go to hell. And you finally told me what you'd done. I called them back that night. Why didn't you call me, Niket? We've been through a lot. You could have at least let me explain. I deserve to know that you'd stolen your sister, Miri. I deserve to know you were with Cerberus. But I had to hear it from your father first. How much did Miranda's father pay you? A great deal. Damn it, Niket! You were the only one I trusted from that life. He knew you felt that way. That's why he bought me. So you just took his money? Don't get holy with me, Miri. You took his money for years. I knew Eclipse was willing to get their hands dirty. But kidnapping a kid? I'm not stealing her. I'm rescuing her. Come on, Niket. Let's finish this bitch off and get out of here. Take your best shot. I was just waiting for you to finish getting dressed. Or does Cerberus really let you whore around in that outfit? Whether or not you agree with Miranda, Oriana has been with her family for years now. Her father can still give her a better life. You don't know what my father wants for her. I know that I've been poor, Miri. I didn't much care for it. He wants to take a girl away from the only family she's ever known. Doesn't that tell you what he really is? If you're working for Miranda's father, that means he knows about Oriana. We need to find a new solution. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. Miranda, wait! You don't want to do this. This has to end here, Shepard. My father will keep trying to find Oriana. Maybe Niket can help. Talk to your father. Just say you got here first. Oh, I'll tell him that you hid her. That I don't know where she is. I never want to see you again, Niket. <sighs> Done. Now, if you don't mind, I have a shipment to deliver. You'll die for that, bitch! On our right. Eclipse for <clears throat> I can't believe Niket sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. Even with all your upgrades, you're human, just like the rest of us. But I let it get personal and I screwed up. Why didn't you let me kill him? I could have handled that. But watching him get gunned down by that Asari bitch. You still cared for him, even if he betrayed you. You're right. And my father knew it. He used that against me. It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted, but there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except Niket. Weakness on my part? You can't toss aside everything you care about just to be safe. It's okay, Shepard. My father hurt me, but he didn't break me. As much as he tried to turn me into exactly what he wanted, I'm my own person. Any other old friends your father might use against you? No. I cut ties with everyone else. Anyone I'm close to now works for Cerberus. Or you. My father's powerful, but he won't cross the elusive man. You still have Oriana. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her, but yes, you're right. I still have something. Thank you. No sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family. Come on, we should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. She doesn't need any details. 
but would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? I guess not. Go on. We'll wait here. Pardon me, I'm dealing with damn Ilium travel bureaucracy. Were you trying to get them to help you find this locket? Oh, Stephen, thank you. Thank you so much. My daughter was young when he died. This is the only memento she has of him. Please accept this. It's much less than I would have had to pay the bureaucrats to authorize a search. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Oriana in time without your help. I'm glad Niket tried to redeem himself. For what good it did. Thank you for stopping me, Commander. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life and the freedom to choose her own path. And she knows she has an older sister. A friend. You never told me what you talked about. I introduced myself. Her family was shocked. She adjusted quickly, of course. She's as smart as I am. She plays the violin, loves the adagio movement of Nielsen's fifth, just like I do. She wants to work in colony development. Told a joke about it. She's really funny, <laughs> something we don't share. It's funny, I think of you as all business. Good to see that there's a person under there. The mission's too important to let personal feelings interfere. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. Commander, what can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. <laughs> 